Hey, what's going on, all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Off with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we have another reviews and reactions. And making their debut on the channel is a band called The Invisible Spirit. We're going to be reacting to their song, Push. Link to that video will be down in the description box for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. And this request comes to us by KRW. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. As always, going into this blind with my off-the-cuff comments, if I recognize a song, I'll definitely let everybody know. I'm going to be as transparent as possible. But no more ghouling around. Let's jump right in. All right, ghouls and ghosts. The Invincible, or is it Invincible Spirit Push? I thought it was Invisible. I do apologize. <laughs> Sounds like video game noise. I can dig it.
if I could sum this up in two words, it would be painfully simple. See in the review section. All right, ghouls and ghosts. That was the Invincible Spirit with their song, Push. Link to the original video will be down in the description box for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. And again, this request comes to us by KRW. Thank you again for that lovely, lovely request. This is going to be pretty short, I think. There's not a whole lot to talk about. <clears throat> But like I said, right after uh, the song, it was painfully simple with emphasis, emphasis on the painful part. I was quite bored with this track. Yeah, it was a seven minute track and it dragged on and on and on. It's just a, a lot of repetition. A lot of the same stuff, same beat. It is rinse, recycle, repeat. I will say this though, I it did remind me of like old school front two four two. Uh got your eight bit kind of sounds, very it sounded very uh up and coming electronical music. But the the novelty of that wore off very quick. It was a very thin layer. I'm not trying to be harsh. It's just song did not capture me in any way, shape, or form. Did not resonate with me in any shape or form. And simply put, I was bored. At first, like I said, I, I was I was digging it. Nice little beat here. And like I said, it reminded me of Front 242. And right there, I was like, yeah, this is going to be easy, 3.5 or 4 skulls. But then it just was the same thing over and over, and it kept going down, down, down. It's not painful to the ears. It's just, it's boring. Very boring. So I was dancing around 2.53 skulls. And for the nostalgia factor, the 8-bit sounds, and the fact that it reminded me of Front 242, I am going to settle on three skulls out of five. Absolutely happy with that score for all the reasons I just stated. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Reviews and Reactions. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos. Friday Night Frights, mouthing up with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared.